Hello everyone, here is a new journal that I have created. Now the prompt for this journal from the person it's for was Pirate. And I started first by creating some of these little things. as like little treasures to put into the journal. And as I was kind of playing with browns and blacks and yellows and creating yellowed fabric, um, I put in this little... Um, blue it's really really bright blue and with the color scheme and the skull imagery obviously because it's pirates it really reminded me of something and what it reminded me of was the color scheme of the death card from the toth tarot and as you can see i mean there's not so much of that warmer brown but it's almost identical um, i have added a few touches of other colours, there's a few touches of purple, there's a few touches of a deep green, that's because of some of the ephemera that I included. I wanted to tie them into the whole thing. Um, I mean there is a little bit of a deep green here. Um, but I really uh, thought it was striking how similar they were, particularly when I mean, there's a fish there. There's obviously the uh, skeletal figure. And then this, to me, reminds me of the mast of a ship. So when I realised what this colour scheme reminded me of, I just kind of went with it. So this journal cover is quilted. It is, although it's machine, machined into the journal cover itself, it is hand quilted entirely. Um, this is a little, say a little school brad. This is an antique doily, which I've stitched round and added beads into this is the netting off of some fruit bags so just goes to show that you can use everything these are some bits of lace and some sequins and some of these fabrics are authentic vintage some of them are newer and some of them I have hand stamped with watercolor ink because I knew it would fade and that's what I wanted however please don't get this journal wet and if you use that technique on other kinds of fabric um, don't wash it um, this is some more of that lace which I just sticked on, stitched onto a backing fabric and again it's been aged with all of the different colours this is antique doily here and this is open here to create a little pocket um, or here to tuck a pen in, whichever you'd like. And then on the back is, this is what I actually created that reminded me of that card. This is some uh, a piece of old bed skirt that I tea dyed. Um, a lot of these fabrics have been tea dyed as well. And then more of the stamping, and all for hand quilting, more of the different coloured netting off of fruits. Uh, it's sealed with, I didn't show you that because I'm filming one handed, but it's sealed with some seam, uh, part of a hospital blanket, which was, which I cut up to make scrub bags during the beginning of the pandemic. And then into the journal itself, it's, I'll show you the spine. It's pamphlet stitch and I've threaded some scraps through to give it a really kind of battered and handmade look. Uh, inside there's uh, vintage, these are pillowcases. And then there is a watercolour envelope which I did full of ephemera and scraps that match what was used in the journal. And then this is a little... It's a code disc from an escape game, and they used quite a lot of the escape game um, pieces in here because it was all to do with uh, recovering sunken treasure, which really fit the theme of the journal, what was requested. And then this is just tucked up, so you can put like another small journal in here, like a field notes journal or a thin pencil case, and again at the other side, a little compass piece, what I've done. And then the pages are, uh, so this is handmade paper, 
some of this are some sea scenes from uh, National Geographic, which were the first things I picked. And what I drew the colour scheme for the uh, little uh, fabric bits from. And then, sorry, trying to zoom out, I'm not showing my messy desk. This is some handmade paper from India. This is something from the escape game, as you can see. Um, I use these pieces because you can only use the escape game once because part of the fun of that is tearing some of the pieces up and drawing on them all. This is from the National History Museum. I've forgotten which paper pad, but it's not the kaleidoscope and it's not Hot Tropics, it's the third one. <clears throat> this is vintage music note paper, so uh, you'd, you'd like write down your composition here and then on the back side you would... I assume take notes on that. I don't know, I never studied music that deeply. All of the handmade papers. This is an old map of the British Isles, which has been obviously a reproduction. Um, see the little islands and things off the coast. This is a, another map, even older I think. This is made out of a brown paper bag, some more handmade paper. The moon obviously so important. Uh, for sailors and for pirates. And then this is more vintage map, handmade paper, sticky note, tiny, tiny little pocket. And then there's this treasure inside, which is a stamp of a roulette wheel, I think. And I've uh, coloured it and stitched onto it. And then handmade paper beyond it for more writing space. There is room in this pocket for some paper wanted to add more writing space and then this is a little tuck spot this is another game piece this is out of a trivia set and I think I included at least one of the full ones of these when they haven't been cut in the ephemera pack and the card is a little journaling card and that's from the escape game it's the other side of those maps looking at fold outs for more writing space and this is the cover of the escape game so the tiny little ship and the sinking treasure it's upside down and then the other side of that oops uh, note paper and more from the escape game I think they're really beautiful and you can still see all of the uh, codes and things on there, which I think is really cool. Uh, this is paper stitched onto fabric, which was then glued down, if I remember rightly. More of that National History Museum paper. And then from Natural Geographic. Or National Geographic, even. Foldouts. Uh, this is the second signature. This is more old maps. Um... This is a map of London docks. This is a little pocket. Um, that's that compass stamp stamped onto cardstock this time and sewn through with um, netting and stamped paper, uh, stamped fabric. And all of the little fabric pieces are uh, were stitched onto a thin piece of flannel before they were adhered down, just to give them a bit more um, substance. A little domino stamp, writing space, and then these are, uh, these were like little, a chest that you had to kind of open in the game. And then there are journal cards on the other side. Let's see if I can get these back in one handed, yep. More parts from the escape game. Fishes. This is from the Natural History Museum paper. Even older map I think other note paper and may paper lots of writing room in this this is an envelope which I've stitched in a little tab that I made this is a cigarette card and some ephemera this is another piece of those trivia game pieces and it's a pocket um, brown paper this is from encyclopedia Vintage Encyclopedia. This is another little fabric treasure. So you can see the uh, flannel more clearly. 
and a that journal card is double sided I'll not pull it all the way out because it's hard to get things in and out one handed see how it's stitched in and then this is from the Kaleidoscope um, Natural History Museum paper and this is a, another of their little journaling cards it's just plain on the back as is this leatherette tag which I made by putting it onto card first and then adhering the paper onto the card rather than attempting to adhere paper directly to leatherette because that would be difficult and then another cigarette card this is from the race into space set and this is some kind of uh, shuttle or rover coming back to earth you know, the papers have been treated so there's lots of writing room you see why I chose um, a lot of these maps because they have a lot of sea on them obviously because we are islands and this I think is a map of the Spanish Armada and then some more little collage and writing room more writing room and then some bingo cards and some dominoes because obviously pirates do like to gamble this is another little treasure with a piece of vintage doily and the netting on top of that hand stamped fabric and hand quilted down uh, what's in this pocket so this is a this one's a map of Paris just for a bit of variety and then you can see what the trivia cards look like when they're not cut so that one is just aged paper on the back and this is a little flip out and the bugs are from that kaleidoscope national history paper that's from the escape game and then this was just this has no flannel beneath it this is just glued directly onto the paper so you can see how different the effect is and more writing space and a wee domino more, ma more maps london docks and I want to say that's Dover, but I'm not quite sure. And then this is obviously a very old map. You can see how um, different the sizing is for everything than it is in real life. This, where is this? Oh, it's Dartmouth all the way down there, Jesus. So that's what we like to call the pig that'll be Wales god how small is Wales compared to how it actually is and what I found out only recently is that we the British Isles as a whole or the United Kingdom appears much larger on world maps than it actually is which I think is fascinating that maps are still not accurate and in the back we have a paper bookmark with lots of lovely papers on and then we have the pen test which I always include because um, sometimes you want to test your pens before you start writing on a page so it has some fabric it has some of the cardstock it has some like this is a sticky note uh, one of which is in there but it's just kind of like ordinary paper then we have the National Geographic magazine in case you wanted to write on top of that there's another brown paper bag then some of the two types of uh, handmade paper and obviously I didn't include the note writing paper because you're intended to write on that so if your pen doesn't work on that there's something wrong with your pen um, yeah and that's the inside pocket so that's that journal I hope uh, the person who it's for really enjoys it and I hope you at home watching also enjoyed this tour through it. I do take commissions, so please um, ask me about it. I'm launching a new service where I kind of do commissions as readings. So like intuitive art and stuff like that, there'll be more information about that at a later date. See you later.